Hey YouTube, Roman Drummer Vlogs here with a tutorial, and this tutorial is on Logic Pro and how to get a decent drum sound in Logic Pro. This is the way I do it. Many people do it differently. So yeah, let's get started. Open Logic Pro. Okay, guys. So we're here in Logic Pro. I opened my project. It's just like a uh, drum cover I worked on just to give you guys some reference. So let's get started. Name your tracks, of course, before we record. So. This is my bass drum track. I put as the first track. And so, just to give you guys a listen, here's how it sounds. This is just a, like a rough recording with no effects or anything. See, everything is turned off right here. All the effects are off. Now let's play, see how it sounds. Okay. So we got that, and what we do now is we add our EQ. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, this EQ will not work for you guys. You guys can try it. Every drum sounds different with any EQ you put on it, so. You guys should try a different one. This is just the one I tried. So what I, what I do is I duplicate my bass drum. I make one track, a uh, high pitch. See, I put my highs up on, on the first track. And I put my lows down, the mids kind of down. I put the highs all the way up so I can get like a punchy, kind of punk, punchy rock band kind of sound, I guess. I don't know. So here's the result of that. Yeah, of course, the snare bleeds in there, but we can fix that. All right, next thing we do is we add our compression. Again, all of these presets I show you is different for everybody and anybody. So here are my settings. I put the attack at about 20, something like that. I put the really slow because I don't like, I don't want it to stop fast. So put the ratio like about in the middle, knee, keep there. I turn the threshold down and I put the gain up. And here's how that sounds. Next, what we do is we put a phase invert. So how we do that is we go, we click on the thing to activate our plugins, we go to utility, gain, mono, and then we don't do anything, just click phase invert. And the reason why we do that is because for the next track we have is our lower pitched bass drum and to make it kind of in the mix, the phase invert kind of mixes it both together, you know, the, the high pitch and the low pitch to sound good. So what we do now, so this is our second bass drum track. What we do is we press this button right here with the plus and it adds another track, but with the same plugins as our first. What we do is we hold down option, click the track, then we go down, and then bam, 
it's already added. But I'm gonna undo this because I already added it. I already added it. I just do that for you guys so you guys know. All right. So what we do next is we go down to the second track. This is our lower pitched bass drum, and if we look at the EQ, all my low EQ is up. Mids are down, highs are down. Oh, this is up. And if we listen to this, and if we listen to both together. So of course, next is compression. What I do is I put compression on one track and I just copy it all over the other tracks because it's basically like the same thing. I don't know. I just like to do it like that. So as we did the first compression on the first track of the bass drum, you, you just copy it. And the way you do that is you press command and option at the same time and you should see this hand and as you can see you see you can copy paste it wherever you want okay so i'm gonna undo that because i don't need this many tracks compression tracks so i'm gonna undo that because i don't need this next is our overheads which is track three. And this is overhead left. And what we do here is we just put our EQ, turn up the highs, do it, do it as you like, how you like it to sound. Turn on the lows. And if we take a listen to that, we pan it though. listen to it with the bass drums okay next is the right overheads and basically the same thing turn up the highs and if you have a ride here you want to Put up your lows kind of, you know, to get the kind of a ride sound, but if you hit the bell a lot, you know. So we pan that and here's the sound. We listen to it with all these together. Okay, so next is the snare, and what I did with the snare is I made two tracks exactly like with the bass drum I showed you guys before. Alright, so with the EQ on the snare, the first snare, is the high snare, is the high EQ snare. So, here's how that sounds. Okay, and I put compression. And I showed you guys how to do that, I just copy it all over. Here's how that sounds with compression. <laughs> 